What's up, guys? It's your girl, NT. And that stands for Natalia Taylor. And this is my Natalia trailer. And this is my Natalia trailer series, where I talk about why I sold my house and moved into a trailer full time. Step into my office. I didn't forget it that time. Now this might come as a bit of a shock, especially if you didn't see the video I uploaded last week explaining everything. But for your convenience, I'll summarize. I had a really big house, but something felt empty. empty. And so I thought, let's become a CEO. CEO. What kind of company? Fashion? No. Beauty? No. Construction and development? Hell yeah. And so we packed our things, sold our house, and took the money from the house and put it into construction things. And why did we do this? Because life is fun. And we all know the golden rule. Never let them know your next move. And that move happened to be moving into this lovely trailer. You're all caught up now. Do I miss my big house? Yes, of course. Of course I miss my big house. Um, do I wish that I could go back to living there? Absolutely not. Nope, nope, nope. It's not even that like having nice things or having a beautiful home is a bad thing. Like those things are, are very, very good. But something super beautiful happens when you decide to i guess give up those good things or like give up the things that you love to get something even better and for me that thing that is even better is you know endurance and challenging myself to have faith and that's what that is is like believing in something that isn't here yet like clearly i am out of my element I mean, you guys know me. You guys know that this is a challenge for me and it's beautiful and I love it. And I am so like happy when I get to have a day where I am forced to choose to be joyous. I'm forced to choose <laughs> to be grateful for where I'm at right now. And I figured I would just talk about some of the challenges of going from where I used to live to the trailer. One of the biggest things is my everything shower. So I do my everything shower once a week. I have this whole routine. It is way different than a regular shower. It is way more serious. There are so many more steps, okay? And obviously in a trailer, you have to conserve water. Like there's not just endless water I guess that you can just, or, or in the water heater, it's a very small water heater. So I can't be singing in the shower. I can only do five minute showers in the trailer. So I go to my gym and that's where I do all of my everything showers. I know that's like kind of common for people that do like band life, but I just think it's so ironic and so funny that, you know, like I'm like a Dyson girly and I just roll up at my gym with my Dyson hairdryer and people are looking at me like I'm absolutely freaking insane. Like I am in there, like in the locker room, drying my hair for almost an hour as people are walking in and out, like <laughs> showering after the gym. They're just looking at me like I'm crazy. And not to mention, I, I have like my whole self tanning routine. There's my gym right there. And I'm literally going in just to shower like i have like my dyson and like all of my like tanning stuff in my cute little like white fox bags but no this is beautiful this is this is honestly such a beautiful phase in my life and time in my life this is not permanent but this is a fun one like this is a really fun episode this place has a really nice facility actually one and a half hours later we are all done but yeah that has definitely been interesting you know hauling all of my stuff back and forth to the gym so that i can everything shower another really big challenge is the closet space i have no closet in the trailer at all um i only have a small little beautiful stunning cabinet and <laughs> so i'm kind of forced to be more minimal with my wardrobe and you guys know i am super into fashion i mean you may not be able to tell right now <laughs> but yeah i'm really into clothes and i love you know having my closet it, it was one of my favorite things like when i had the the big house 
I had never had a closet that big. I'd never had a walk-in closet. And so I definitely miss that a lot. I miss being able to go into my closet and it look like a shopping mall and being able to like point like, oh yeah, like, you know, I want to wear this and this, like see everything that I own. And it's not like that anymore. Now I just have a cabinet where I can fit five to seven tops. And that's a challenge. That's hard, you know? And um, so my wardrobe has gotten a little bit more basic. I've been wearing a lot of t-shirts. But I've found freedom in that. And I've found that I'm really starting to love basics, okay? I have like 10 white t-shirts and jeans. Like that is like my new favorite go-to outfit. And it's really nice because I don't get stressed out looking at all of my clothes, trying to think like what outfit I want to whip up that day. I just like automatically know it's going to be a white t-shirt and jeans probably. But like, I still don't have the heart to get rid of all of my clothes. I am still a fashionista deep down. So I have all my clothes in storage and that is fine by me. You know, I'm going to one day buy another house and fill it with all of my clothes. And maybe by that time, I'll look at all of those clothes and be like, wow, I didn't need any of this crap and I'll either sell it or give it away. But as of right now, I am just happy with you know, all my pieces being in storage. Another thing that I think is incredibly ironic is I started getting into cooking um, the, over the past, like, you know, six months to a year. And it's just so funny because when I lived in the big house, <laughs> I never used the kitchen. I only used the microwave. And um, I would just use like those like Annie's frozen vegan. They're terrible for you. It's just a bunch of sodium. It's disgusting. Okay. And no offense. I'm sorry if you eat those. This is my kitchen. I don't spend too much time in here unless I'm using the microwave. I actually never eat here. This little unit came with the house as well. And as much as I love the way it looks, I just never think to eat here unless I have guests or friends over. But now I'm like really into scratch ingredients and making stuff in the kitchen and <laughs> never got to do that while I had a huge ass kitchen. Now I'm like baking cookies and making scratch, scratch dinners in the trailer. And the kitchen is literally like an eighth of the size, but maybe you can taste the love. Another thing that I really took for granted, didn't realize that it was such a luxury, was having a couch to plop down on. This is something that I really, really miss in the big house because we had a big couch where you could fit at least five to seven people and you could lay down on it. You could sprawl out and have a movie night. And it was beautiful, like coming home after a long day and just sprawling out and crashing on the couch, you know, like you never think that that's something that you'll just like not have in the future. But the dinette that you see behind me, this is the only seating area that we have that's not the bed. So this, it's like, I can't really, I guess, like fall into it. I, I could, but it wouldn't be very safe. This comes down and it does turn into a bed, but I would have to do all of those steps in order to plop down. And when you come in to plop, you're not, you know, like shimmying everything. It takes away all of the excitement of plopping when you have to have like 10 steps to turn this into a laying space. But I don't know, there's just so many things that the average person takes for granted that we don't just take a moment to say, hey, I have this and I'm grateful. And that's kind of how I feel about right now. Like the, having the trailer, I'm serious guys, when I say, I am the most grateful that I have ever been in my life. This trailer is stunning. It is stunning and I love it. And I'm, I'm never ever going to say a single bad thing about what we have and what we're doing because it is beautiful. And I love, you know, focusing on the future and not ruminating on the past. And that is why, yes, I do miss my old house, but in a way, I don't. I miss it in a way that I appreciate it and I thank it for what it is doing for our future by helping us start something new. But ultimately, I'm happy to be here in the present. I'm grateful for what we have. I'm grateful for the choice that we made, the choice to not be attached to something and just allow it to turn into 
something new that will eventually give back to us. I hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope that watching this episode of my life has been a little bit of entertainment for you. I don't know, but I'm going to keep making these videos. Leave me a comment what you want me to do. I I'm thinking that I'm going to make some videos where I'm like going around in the little town that I live in. I have a friend that owns a pizza shop downtown. Like imagine if I worked in the pizza shop for a day. But I hope you guys enjoyed this second episode of a very special series that I call the Natalia Trailer Series. I love you guys so much. There will be many more to come. But most of all, I hope you have a wonderful, beautiful day. God bless you guys. Bye. Oh, oh my god. It's a bit windy in the middle of nowhere today. What's up, guys? The side bangs. Somebody, can somebody please help me with the side bangs? Just kidding. I'm the only person around for miles. Let's go again. What's up, guys? It's your girl. <laughs> and she spoke to the wind and told it to stop. 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 This isn't working.